Hypnosis and pain relief, glove anesthesia. That's what we want to talk about and demonstrate with a really good classroom demo in this video. Mike, what is anesthesia? What is glove anesthesia? Anesthesia is a complete removal of not just pain, but sensation. Mm -hmm. And that's what we aim for. In At worst, we get analgesia where we take away pain, there's still sensation present, which is fine. Glove anesthesia is to cause a limb, a hand, to feel like an invisible glove is over it that causes a complete numbness. So it goes partway up the wrist, but the entire hand becomes numb. The power mm -hmm. of this is once we have it, you can then move it somewhere else, send it anywhere necessary in the body to a, a jaw for a toothache, just about anything. Okay, so glove anesthesia is a really cool thing. I remember learning this so many years ago when you first demonstrated in a hypnosis class that I took with you, and we've been teaching it ever since. And anyway, we've got to cut to a demo right now where Mike is going to do this in class, and then we'll just come back and, debrief, and briefly yeah. debrief it. So briefly debrief it. So let's cut to the demonstration, and we'll see you back here in a few minutes. Um, I think you'll enjoy this, and okay. feel free to let your unconscious mind, with all your consummate hypnosis skills you already have, mm -hmm. draw some more useful distinctions from this, okay? Right. So the way we're going to start this, this is called glove anesthesia. It's a very old term. It's called that because we make the sensation of a glove of numbness over their hand and partway up their arm. Once it's there, we can send it wherever it's needed. So that's how we'll handle this. So Ben... Is it uncomfortable just sitting there? A little bit. Yeah. So just sitting there now, what number would you give it? Three or four. Okay, three or four. Which one would you rather it wasn't? I think I'd rather it wasn't four. Okay, so what number is it? Three. Excellent. No further questions, Your Honor? Here we go. Here's how we get into it. We get into this with catalepsy. That's our inroad. Ben, can I borrow that hand for Absolutely. a minute? Absolutely. Excellent. Eyes closed now and be comfortable as all the sensations in that hand intensify automatically and easily. And as you begin to notice, perhaps a tingling sensation in that hand, maybe a lightness, a coolness, you can permit it to stay there for this experiment, for now at least. And I'd like you to imagine, Ben, in a very pleasant way that a bunch of us head out in a Toronto winter right after a big snowfall. But it's the right kind of snowfall where the air's fresh and clean and it's sunny now. And it's not that horrible wet snow, but it's that light powdery snow that's beautiful and seasonal and very enjoyable. And as we walk out there, all wrapped up against the elements and as you go deeper now, you can imagine that you shove that hand right into a big snow drift. We all do it, you can feel the cold. Just feel it spreading, extending through your hand, and a beautiful, calm numbness takes over. It's a very pleasant sensation, and it's getting stronger and stronger by the minute, and it's bringing a coolness so that we can, in a moment, begin to take away some of that inflammation and the sensations you have not enjoyed. And as you feel it in that hand, your unconscious mind can do a very clever thing. It can intensify that cold, that numbness, by sending it up your arm, across your shoulder, and into your left hand instead. And when it moves, your right hand will sink, and your left hand will rise. And when it rises completely, and your right hand is fully down again, the left hand, that's right, will take on all the numbness every bit of it, and it doubles as it transitions across. It doubles as it flows all the way from your right hand. That's right. And the left hand begins to lift at that moment. As it lifts, that's right. The right hand sinks. The numbness doubles as it crosses over your shoulders. And when your left hand is floating perfectly, it will have all that wonderful numbness in it, that cool, pleasant sensation. And when they've changed positions, it will be complete and your left hand will be floating and numb to the very core of your being in an excellent, enjoyable way. And your right hand will touch down on your leg. If you have to move it, that's fine because your left hand will continue to rise and take on even more of that sensation. That's right, that's enough. We just needed a response. And now, permit that beautiful, cooling, 
anesthetic numbness to flow from your left hand down into your left foot, just causing that foot to become cold and frozen and absolutely numb from all sensation. And when it's there in your left foot completely, so numb, increasing in intensity, your left hand will be relaxed because all the cool, comfortable sensation will be gone and into your left foot. That's right, just like that. And once it's in your left foot and fully established, moving there now, it flows across through the air into your right foot. And as it does, it doubles again. And the comforting coolness intensifies moment by moment. And when all the numbness is in your right foot, even more cold, more numb, more anesthetized than your left foot was, your right hand will give a twitch to let me know it's all there in a fully unconscious, effortless way. A nice, obvious twitch that shows the right foot is cold and numb. Take all the time you need, just like that. That's right, I see that twitch. Thank you. And finally, Ben, you can send that numbness from your right foot right back into your right hand again where we started. And as it reaches there, the right hand will begin to rise and fill with that comforting coldness twice as much as it was in your foot, way more than when you started. That's right. It's traveling across now. And the hand rises as the numbness <laughs> intensifies, lifting just enough that we can use it as a healing hand. That's right. A healing tool holding not just numbness, but wonderful anti-inflammatory properties as well, taking away anything that shouldn't be there. And when it's fully in your right hand, you can put that hand on the patella or on the part of that knee where the inflammation is and let all the relief, all the comfort and ease flow from that hand. That's right. When you touch it where you need it, it all flows into your knee, moving to where it's required, redness becoming cool blue or green, and all the health-giving, that's right, all the health-giving relief flowing, taking away anything that should not be there, flowing to the exact right spot, filling that knee region with all sorts of relief and comfort and helping make everything normal again. There's that magic word, normal. And the relief is palpable. The relief is fantastic. Your knee feels so much better already. And the relief and the anti-inflammation properties will continue over minutes and even hours helping you as your unconscious with all of his wisdom and strength sends exactly the right chemicals where you need them, the kind your own body develops, whether it's naturally occurring cortisone in the adrenal cortex sent to that spot, whatever's needed. And when the relief is complete for now, you can come back to now, leaving all the anti-inflammation effect and relief and comfort and ease there to continue to help you. And you'll awaken when the work is done and not one second sooner and you'll be alert and refreshed, having learned something new about yourself. That's right. Hi. Hello. It's weird coming back when everybody's looking at you, isn't it? Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Ben. Give young Ben a big hand. Thanks, buddy. Thank Come, you. How do you feel? Like somebody just froze my patella. Like someone just froze your patella. Congratulate yourself, you. buddy. Yeah. You did it. <laughs> excellent. You. Excellent. So this is your classic glove anesthesia. 
All right, and we're back. So what do you want to say about that, Mike? Well, it's the go-to for any kind of pain management. Let's say you can't move your hand to take away the pain of something. If it's your shoulder, you can put the anesthesia there, have it all transfer, including anti-inflammatory, make the shoulder feel better. What if it's in the middle of your back? Well, you simply have the person imagine it flows up their arm right mm -hmm. to the center of their back and causes pain relief. You can have it last as long as you want. It can wear off in an hour, whatever you decide. If you're a dentist, it's perfect for dental work. And above all, make sure that you start with a cataleptic limb because the cataleptic limb, the floating limb, is the means of beginning the whole process. Right, because in order to create some sort of hypnotic effect, you have to start with something. You can't start with zero. You must right. create something so you can amplify, amplify, amplify. And you're amplifying by moving it around each time you're suggesting mm -hmm. that it doubles. You can double anything. But like Chris said, you have to have something. No matter how many times you amplify zero, Zero, you still have zero, but even right. a tiny bit of anesthesia or tingling or mm -hmm. analgesia can be magnified and moved around. And remember, when Mike says move it around, he means when we start out with the anesthesia in one hand and move it, have it to the, to the other hand, hand. Yeah. move it to a foot, move it to the other foot. By moving it every time we suggest that it doubles, that's where you get the compounding. And it's so, a beautiful, beautiful effect. Mm -hmm. It really works. And it's only one of many techniques you can use for hypnotic pain management. If you want to learn more about this, you can come and join us inside of the Mike Mandel Hypnosis Academy. Just go to MikeMandelHypnosis.com and you'll see how you can get started with us for free. So thanks again and, and good, good night. night without any pain.